Hey everybody, Jesse Fuel here with the latest edition of Morning Fuel coming to you live and direct from London, England. I'm here this week as part of the PMO conference, which is a collection of practitioners and experts and leaders in the project management space coming together in an annual conference that uh, I'm excited to be a part of this year. And I just want to get started with my day before I go on stage with some of my thoughts as I usually do here on coffee. So let's get started. Ah, now I'm ready to talk. So here's what's on my mind this morning. And that is that there is a pattern I'm seeing over and over again with professionals, particularly project management or agile people. And that is that we confuse what we do with why we do it. Let me tell you what I mean. Uh, a lot of project managers who want to help execute on initiatives and strategy um, and change, they get really good at people, processes, and tools. They get really good at scope, schedule, cost, and lose sight of the strategic value of a given project. A lot of agile people are like, well, you know, we got to be scrumming and we got to be re retrospecting and we got to be daily daily stand-upping and we got to do all this stuff and we lose sight of the question of why are we even moving in an agile direction? What is the, what is the strategic outcome that we're looking for? Because it's different for different people. And so this is uh, the, the substance of a lot of the conversations I'm having with my colleagues and it's even the core of my talk of the agile PMO. What is an agile PMO? What's the point of a PMO? And and, and before a year in Agile Guide, you just dismiss, ah, oh, the project management organization is a bureaucracy. It's, it's about lots of processes and, and, and reports and templates. And, and, and there's, well, you know, honestly, your Agile Center of Excellence is the same thing. <clears throat> your Agile community of practice is the same thing. It's a centralized organization intended to build maturity in something. And so Agile people are just as guilty of this. We get all excited about our techniques because they, they yield fruit for, for certain initiatives and we fall in love with those and sometimes that's good, but then sometimes that doesn't really resonate with the new vice president over in this division because this guy is more interested in stakeholder alignment and less interested in team productivity. So all, your, all of your teamliness and teaming is really great for the other department but when you move over here this guy wants to do a little more stakeholder alignment so i hope you have some new techniques to get into that and so the question i would want to ask anybody who's going to go agile or anybody who wants to build project management maturity or anything any initiative the question is why why how will you know you're successful and don't tell me you know you're successful when everybody does everything perfectly you'll know you're successful when there's a specific strategic outcome like more flexibility strategically, more visibility in how, where things are and how we're going, and, and uh, more quality in the outputs that we, that we, and the deliverables that we put out. That's the question that any leader should be asking. Any, any project initiative, any transformation initiative or change, the question is, what, what are we going for? What are we trying to achieve? And we end up putting the cart before the horse. And I get a lot of this from a, a colleague of mine who's, who's been really articulate and compelling around this. His name is Mark Price Perry. And Mark's written a couple of books on how to think about what a project management organization is, or for agile people, what your center of excellence should look like, or your community of practice should look like. And the answer is it should be about organizational enablement. It should be about enabling outcomes. It should be about solving problems. What is the problem that we're trying to solve? So don't confuse what you do with why you do it. And if you don't know the why yet, that might be a good question to start pursuing. That's my thought today. Wanted to share it with you. Hopefully that makes you spur some thinking the way it's been, it's been uh, opening my eyes and making me think here today in London, the day of the PMO conference. Excited to talk about it. I'll see you next time here on Morning Fuel. Cheers. <laughs>